Welcome to the Boat Galley Podcast. I'm Carolyn Sherlock, here with tips, reviews, and how-tos for your cruising adventure. This episode of the Boat Galley Podcast is sponsored by Solivore Solar Ovens. Cook with the power of the sun with your Solivore Sport Solar Oven. Slow cook, roast, or bake. The lightweight and durable Solivore is perfect for life on board. Keep the galley cool, save fuel. Use coupon code GALLEY2018 for 15% off through September of 2018. Slow down, slow down. Today I want to talk about organizing your galley on a charter, or perhaps a short trip on your own boat. On our first charter trip, Dave and I went to the BVIs with our good friends David and Jan. We are now also cruisers and Jan's my cookbook co-author. And while we had a wonderful time, we sure learned a lot about organizing the food. Hopefully, you'll have made some sort of grocery list either for your trip to the supermarket or a provisioning company. And you'll have a meal plan. Good. You'll need both as that food comes on board. While it's helpful to have as many people as possible to get the food down the dock and into the boat, the organizing phase seems to go best with just one or two. We found that when all four of us were trying to work at once, there was just too much confusion. As Jan and I were the cooks and the guys were the dishwashers, we politely asked them to get off the boat for an hour when it became obvious that even walking through the boat was pretty disruptive. Jan and I checked off all the items on the master food list to make sure we had everything. And no, we didn't. This can be a problem with a provisioning company. If they are out of something, they rarely make a note of it. It's just not there. We noted everything that was missing and later went to the store and found substitutes. As we were unpacking food, we labeled it with what it was for. If you're bringing food from home, you can do this as you pack it. As much as possible, we used the plastic grocery bags we were emptying to put all the ingredients for a particular meal together. Labeling while a bit of a paint was really helpful so we didn't use food for meals it wasn't intended for and didn't use too much at once. While this can be seen as overly controlling, we didn't know how much we could restock along the way and we didn't want to be spending our vacation looking for stores. Grouping foods together for a given meal just made it that much easier to find things when it was time to cook dinner. Bring a few Sharpies or other permanent markers to label with. You don't want to use water-based markers as the labels will run with sweat on your hands or condensation in the refrigerator. The single best thing we did was to make a snack bin and stock it each day from the snack bin box. Yeah, we'd labeled the snacks by day. Anyone could eat anything out of the snack bin whenever they wanted, but when it was gone for the day, it was gone. Of course, leftovers would have been carried forward to the next day, but there were never any. My Dave is a known snacker, and somehow the last few packets would disappear overnight. Dave swears it must have been mice. Good little mice that put the wrappers in the trash. Next, try to get some plastic bins or even a few extra pans to organize the refrigerator space. Many times, charter companies have extra in a storeroom somewhere if you just ask. And be sure to label the meat before putting it in the freezer. It's amazing how a frozen pork chop can look like a chicken breast. And if it's something like steaks, chops, or chicken that might be in individual packages, put all the packages for one meal in a plastic grocery bag and tie it up before putting it in. Then, check to make sure that all the standard galley gear is present. Pots and pans, dishes, glasses, silverware, knives, can opener, grilling tools, spatula, and more. I find it helpful to go over my meal plan and think what I'll need to make each meal and make sure that it's there. Much better to discover it when I can go to the office and ask for anything that's missing. Again, I've always found they had spares available. Before getting underway, take a look around and make sure nothing is sitting on the counter or anywhere else that it could fall. If you have enough people, have one stay below as you get underway to find and secure everything that's clanking and sliding. If all hands are needed on deck, send someone below as soon as it's practical. Use towels and pot holders as padding wherever it's necessary. And move items so that compartments are jammed full. Leave some other areas empty if need be. 
And big tip here, hair ties do wonders around glasses and jars to stop noise and prevent breakage. Above all else, make sure everyone has their sense of adventure and sense of humor. Sure, some things are likely to go not as planned over the course of the week, but that doesn't mean you won't have a great time. Thanks for listening. If you like the show, please be sure to subscribe in your podcast app. Just search for the Boat Galley Podcast. And reviews are always appreciated. Until next time, then. Slow down, slow down.